What the heck? You were on the wrong side of the fence. Nope. All right, so we had four chickens jump the fence. First time we've had this happen, but four of them now. So now we have to go catch them. Two out of the four followed. Two out of the four are still trapped. Three out, one to go. Okay, good thinking. We got him. All right, count them. Do we have all 10 or 11? All right, so that adventure is over. Uh, so they are all caught. However, we were talking about doing something today and we're for sure gonna do it. <laughs> so we have this chicken net, which works out pretty well. There are some holes in it and we are actually going to be moving take down this net we're going to throw away this net since we have quite a few holes as you see here the idea today is to at least take this down and move the chicken coop over by the garden we're going to put the our main chickens into the our garden area to make sure they work the ground fertilize the ground and then we're going to see if we can let our meat chickens roam uh, without intermingling them with our egg layers so that's the plan uh, with the chickens getting out this morning though I wasn't thinking about put, fencing the egg, egg layers into the garden, but we may have to so they don't hop out. Again, I believe they hopped on this tire and then jumped over, is my guess, or they got up on the fence ledge, like jumped on our rabbit cages and then jumped over. So that is just what I think. Um, but that's what we're going to be doing today. You just caught her. What's this one's name? It's Boo. Have you named this one yet? It looks like Mama, but like I a, think it's. But I'm calling her Vivian. Calling her Vivian? Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. So we do have this netting that's all tangled. I'm gonna try to untangle this, see if we can use it, but I'm not gonna spend too much time. We do have an unopened package. I believe it's too tall, um, but obviously we can make that work. Um, if we put new netting down this way it's cheap but it doesn't last as long so there's a trade-off there for us but that's what we'll be doing today what what happened stuck. your fingers are stuck all right let the fun begin as we start cutting this down and obviously throwing it away this is actually coming down pretty quick just pop off some zip ties um, taking off the netting so I will show you guys in a minute once I am finished all right so we are all done it is completely open besides some post a little better picture for you here um, so we are gonna need to go along the edge like the ground as we had some stakes to help hold it until the chickens didn't get out so we gotta do that before we throw it away uh, there was a way over there where the shade cloths were for the rabbits. We're going to keep that. That actually looks in decent shape. And maybe we'll use that for a door or something like that uh, when we contain the chickens into the garden. See that in there? Nice work. All right, so we actually did take this one down, which had the um, shade cloth. Pulled up all the stakes in the ground that was a little tedious and so now we're on to the next process got an egg yes and mom says to leave them in right when they come out though because they actually are wet which one's the real one yeah one nice 
what we are doing now is marking the outline of the garden area to keep the chickens in. So Christina here is using the mallet and putting the stakes in and then we'll attach bamboo again and then, then eventually netting. All right, hey, thanks so much for watching. Obviously, we are not finished with, the, with this project, but we have our frame done. We're gonna move the chicken coop over, uh, and then we will get the bamboo up. So we will show you the finished project at a later time. Uh, but I appreciate you watching. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Check back in a few weeks, and it should be finished.